Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? So, uh, I stumbled upon something weird the other day. It's Apparently, it's called Anna or Ina. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. This series is kind of interesting. I, I like it. It has that 90s vaporwave feel to it. You know, it, it has a lot. But to sort of talk about the creator for a bit, Joel G. Now, I, to be honest, I really like his content. He's been around on YouTube for a couple years now. He's made a couple dope series, uh, two ants, one president, hands up, and he's made a few dope videos as well, like uh, Deadline. Joe G has been around on YouTube for about five years now, I'm assuming apparently he got to start on Newgrounds. And yeah, this is sort of the creator of Anna. Now, I, I know it's a bit out of my league to talk about internet series and weird videos and stuff like that, but there is a lot of old school video game references in Anna. I figure it might be worth talking about. Unless you're sort of talking about the character of Anna, so apparently... Apparently, Anna is inspired by a Picasso painting. A uh, picture is called, I think, The Girl Before a Mirror. And it's basically a chick looking in the mirror with, like, two opposite sides. And as you can see throughout the show, Anna sort of switches emotions, like, all on the fly. First, first it's happy, first it's sad. It, it kind of switches a lot. Ah, auction day. These are the utmost grand of days. This is going to be so, so... <laughs> And then there's the white side of Anna. I, I don't mean that to be in like a weird way, but I'm thinking the white side is sort of the exaggerated side of each emotion. So the white side of the yellow eye is exaggeration of, you know, being happy. And the white side of the blue eye is the exaggeration of being sad. What are you even saying? <laughs> uh, can't you say anything that makes sense? <laughs> Why is everyone punching me so soft me today? <laughs> Quit the hitting and finish the job! Now again, just to, just to preface this, just to give out a warning, I, I could be wrong about some of this. I don't know, I just found out about Anna the other day and I've been doing my research and I'm, I'm just giving my own take on this. My apologies if I got anything wrong. But yeah, that's, that's basically Anna's character. It just switches emotions a lot and... And it, there's sort of a lot more to it. I'll, I'll go into it later. Now, like I said, Anna was inspired by the Picasso painting. But I would like to point out one thing. Anna kind of looks like Tomb Raider from the PS1. Like, I, I don't know if you could see through the pictures, but you know how Anna kind of has that boxy design. You know, it's very pixelated and it's... Anna looks like she belongs in a PS1 game. And I, I don't know if anybody can see the correlation between her and Tomb Raider. I, I don't know. I figured I might as well just throw it out there. I don't know. Now, another thing about Anna that I want to talk about, Anna moves kind of weird throughout the videos. Anna seems very animated, like a uh, animatronic, I guess. And this is for a reason. Anna's movements are very similar to uh, the talking heads, uh, uh, excuse me, once in a lifetime. As a matter of fact, you could even sync, as a matter of fact, if you play some of the Anna videos and uh, once in a lifetime at the same time, the movements kind of sync up. And of course, knowing what I do on this channel, I find it, you know, kind of cool. The song is dope and... Now, another thing they don't want to talk about is the world that Anna takes place in. I, my bad if I didn't say that correctly, but Anna's world looks like it belongs in either a PS1 or N64 game. And again, knowing this channel, I absolutely love that. Just the weird vaporwave design and the quirky aesthetic, I absolutely love it. But there's one scene that I want to talk about in particular. And this scene references a, a really obscure video game that I want to talk about one day. So again, I could be wrong on this, but I believe that this scene kind of references Narbacular Drop. Now, if you don't know about Narbacular Drop, it, it sort of inspired the Portal games, Portal 1 and 2. Instead of walking through just straight up portals, you walk through these mouths. And I believe the scene kind of references it, since it walks through some mouth of, so, of some sort. But anyway, I'm sorry if this video is a bit rambly. I've, I'm sorry if I went on a few tangents. Anna needs sort of a lot of explaining to somebody that's never watched it before, so I figure this video might help a little bit. I don't know, but if you want to, like, subscribe, do whatever you're going to do, no rush, and tell me down below. Have you seen any of the videos before? I don't know. Tell me down in the comments, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.